What's up YouTube? In this video, I'm going to autonomously and concurrently generate high quality, high volume SEO content in English, Dutch and Spanish. The SEO content will be generated server side. It's a bit like AutoGPT, but not quite. You're unlikely to find a tutorial like this anywhere at the time of recording as this level of automation is only just emerging. Let's go. For today's example, let's just say we want to increase our clicks and grow our organic traffic around the term AI SEO content or AI content generation tools. What we can do is adopt this topic clusters methodology. What this methodology is, is really you generate a piece of content. This is the pillar content in the middle, and this is going to be a very highly optimized, high quality piece of content. Around this piece of content, we're going to generate a large number of cluster content, and this is going to be on topics very closely related to the pillar content. It's going to send the right signals to Google that this domain has authority around this type of content. Okay, let's just take a quick look at the process to generate our pillar content. First, we need a key phrase to, to have our topic around, and I've gone after AI content generator. You can see that here. In SEMrush, we can see that it has an estimated clicks of around 2,400 a month. So once we've identified our key phrase, we need to produce this piece of content. And there's a bunch of different ways you could do this. Essentially, we need a bit of a content outline. One of the ways to do that is you could use a tool like Mango. Uh, it has this module called Mozart, and it will generate the outline for a piece of content. And then you can use this step two process to generate the copy for each of the sections in our outline. Once you have that, we want this to be a really highly optimized piece of content. And one of the best ways of doing that is to use Surfer SEO. I've done a few videos on Surfer and you can take a look at those, but basically it's gonna tell you how many words, how many headings, how many images you need to, to rank this piece of content on the first page of Google. So let's for a second assume that this has been done and we have our piece of, our content for a pillar article. Now we want to generate all our cluster content. We know the, the topic that our pillar content is around. So we're going to use that topic to generate our cluster content. And the best way of doing that is to use a tool like Beethoven, which is a module within Mango, and it's going to generate a hundred titles based on our key phrase. So I've just got AI content generated in here. I've set this to English. So let's generate the first batch of a hundred. So here are 100 titles we can use for our cluster content for the English content. I'm going to repeat this process, but I'm going to do it also in Dutch. And then I'll also run it again in Spanish. And when that's done, I'll put it in a spreadsheet and we'll take a look at it there. Alrighty, so I've just copied and pasted the 100 cluster content titles from Beethoven over into a Google Sheet. As you'll see, they've come out exactly as they, they were in Beethoven. So what I have in the second column here, there is a formula that basically just strips off the, the numbering. Then there is another formula over in this one, because when we add it to the next tool, the, the agent tool, which is Verstappen, it needs to be entered in comma separated. I'll put these two formulas in the description, but it takes about one minute and all of this is ready to go. So this is the English version, this is the Dutch version, and this is the Spanish version. All up we have 300 titles across three languages for our cluster content. The next step is we're going to put it into Verstappen and we're going to kick it off server side and it can then produce the content for us. So we'll just copy this and we'll paste it in here and just make sure you've set the language correctly. So we've got English here. I'm going to paste these in and then it's going to tell us how many articles we're going to generate. Scroll down a bit and it's telling us here, generate 100 articles in bulk. So we're just going to fire that one and you'll see it's going to tell us approximately 102 minutes to, to generate this. When it's finished, it's going to email us and then we can download it. Let's do that for Dutch now. Grab the Dutch list here. I'm just going to copy it. Set this to Dutch, of course, and then just paste them in and 100 articles. So we'll fire that one off. And now we'll just grab it for the Spanish content. Copy that. We'll set this to Spanish. 
paste it in again. There we go, 100 articles, and away we go. So these are all going to run concurrently, server side in the background. We should get an email for each each of them approximately around the same time in around 102 minutes, and then we can download the content. If you're thinking of giving Mango a go, don't forget to use the code that's on the screen now to get 70% discount off monthly and annual plans. And if you sign up for an annual plan, you also get two months free. Alrighty, so we just got notification that all the content has been produced and this has all been done concurrently. And now let's download the 300 articles. So when you click it, you'll get a uh, an Excel sheet that'll pop up on your browser. So we'll just open that up and this is what it looks like. So if we just scroll all the way down, we should see 300. 301 makes sense because we do have a title line up here. So if we want to take a look at one, we can just click in here. And if I click the, the drop down in Excel, there is our article. And we can also take a look at this in HTML or plain text format. So if I just copy that, if we just go to the markdown to HTML site here, there is a link in the description for this one. We can just paste our content that we got and there is one of the articles of the 300 that have been produced so this is our cluster content the next step would be to load this up into our cms like wordpress i've gone through this on a few different recent videos if you want to check out how it's done but essentially what you're doing is loading that content up as your cluster content and then in the template for your CMS where you're loading the content, you have links between your cluster content and your pillar content. So once your articles are all loaded up, you just make sure under every one of these, you have links back to your pillar content. That pretty much wraps up this video. I hope you got some value. Give Verstappen a try. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments. If you want to learn more about how to load up and manipulate this kind of stuff in Excel between WordPress or other CMSs, check out this video here. I will catch you in the next one.